Hi, in this short video, we're going to build a static app with Svelte. So let me show you the final result. So as you can see, we have a app named users. Also, I use here some Tailwind CSS to add some design. And as you can see, we are fetching some data from the JSON placeholder about users. And also we have this simple form where we can type information about new user. So let me also type one of this new user and after that website now i hit enter as you can see new as user is added so this is will be a really short video and really simple app that we are going to build so let's begin first of all we need to generate a new empty svelte application and i'm going to use svelte js template by using npx and in this video we're not going to use svelte kit so let's clone this template and yeah as you can see this clones now let's go to the folder with this project and type npm install and after that i'm going to open open my project in Visual Studio Code. Okay, so as you can see, all dependencies are installed and that means that we can open project in Visual Studio Code. Okay, so first of all, I'm going to add Tailwind CSS in my index.js by using CDN. So I'm gonna comment this link line and after that I'm going to add here Tailwind CSS by CDN because I don't want to install all the stuff and configure Tailwind CSS because this will be a short video. Okay, and now let's go to zaps.svelte, let's delete this prop, let's delete all content that we are have here, let's delete these styles and let's also go to the main.js and delete all this stuff. Okay, and the first thing what we're going to do, uh, let's create a, here a new container inside app.svelte so let's type here container and mix auto okay and inside here we can also add some padding from for bottom and top and let's create say, also some header i'm gonna copy this and paste here so as you can see this is just for design users app and now let's create say, here a new view for example where we're gonna type users list also let add me some styles for this div so padding for bottom and margin for top some border in the bottom and also let me type here heading heading three so all users and now let's go to the script section now i want to create a new variable named users and inside this variable we are going to save all users that we are, that we are going to fetch from the json placeholder we are going to fetch all data when we mount some data to the components. So I'm going to use on mount function. And after that, I'm gonna make a request by using fetch function. So I'm gonna type here const response await. Yeah, also don't forget to make this async function. So await fetch, await fetch, and I'm typing JSON placeholder endpoint. And after that, I'm typing data await response JSON. So now we convert all data to the JSON format. After that, I want to reverse my array with all data, with all users. And when we have all data, we can now type users equal data. Okay, and now, um, yeah, let's also type here console log users and we will see result of the request. Okay, so now let's go to the browser and yeah, I forget to start local server of Zep. So uh, let's go here and I will open new terminal and I'm gonna gonna type npm run dev. Okay, so local server is started. Now I can open my browser and refresh this. And as you can see, this is our app and all users here. Now let's go to the console. And as you can see, all users are here. So request is successful. So that means that our data, fe data fetching is working. Now let's go back to the Visual Studio Code and you see you save here some error inside console. So we can uh, make a comment for bundle.css. And now let's get back here and let's delete this console log line. And now let's show all users. So to do that, we're going to use as each block so we're typing here users as user and inside this we are going to create a new cards where we're gonna uh, show information of the single user so it will be like a div class user 
and let's add here some shadow and also some padding six okay and we can also as i said yeah so now let's show all information about user so first it will be name of the user so we type here a uh, text to excel a uh, text or maybe it's better to use text excel text gray 800 and font semi bold and we can also add here a margin bottom six okay so now let's type name of the user and after that we're going to show email of the user and also phone number website and yeah that's all okay so now let's type text extra small so user email now we can just copy this we're going also to create uh, here new component for this uh, ca user card but for now let's type here uh, user let's show all data of the user so user phone and user website okay so let's save it and now we can open browser and check results so as you can see everything works but i forget to create a grid so uh, let's open code editor again so now let's create here uh, grid uh, grid calls six we can also get create a here flex uh no first let's create a here grid calls four and gap for four and flex item center flex item center now let's close this div let's format this and let's open browser again to see result okay as you can see now this looks much better okay so now we can start uh, creating form for the user for creating new user so now let's create a new div at user form so, so that will be the first class inside this form i'm gonna also add some pad uh, some margin top some border for bottom now let's change let me change color for the bottom so it will be border gray 800 and we can also add some padding bottom 12 okay and we can also add here title add user and inside this 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 div let's create a new form so yeah we, we're going to add action for this form soon but for now let's create a here a few fields and yeah also add class flex flex item center but we, we can also make this responsive so it will be flex call on mobile and on the large on the desktop it will be flex row okay now let's go here and let's create a first field and the first field it will be email of the user okay so let's type here input type mail let's add here class with all styles we can also add here placeholder where we're going to type email and now let's copy this let's create a new text field where we're going to type uh, name and we can now type here phone and we're going to change type to tell and this the final field it will be website of the user and we change here type to the text okay and now let's create the submit button so let's type here submit uh, i mean button and change type of this button to submit and let's type here create a user and also add here some stylization so let's add padding x4 and padding y2 and text white and we can also type here text center and bg maybe we can type bg green 400 and rounded full okay so that's all for the stylization now let's open browser as you can see that look, looks much better nice form but i forget to add here space in the between between this between these inputs so let's type here space x4 let's save it and now let's see what we have in the browser and yes that looks much better okay nice and now we can create a, a variable where we're gonna save all data of the new user so it will be let user so first it will be this. we will have here some fields for example name mail website phone and after that i'm going to create a website field, okay and now we can bind values to this all variables of this object uh, by using bind bind attribute so bind user email and let's type here bind value user what we have here so it's this name and bind value user phone and the final field this is user website so now we're binding 
trailer of the user website okay and now we can create a function to add new element to the user's array so we're gonna create a new function named save user and uh, let's add here also submit event so on submit and we also can add here prevent default and we're gonna type that we are going to use uh, that we, we are going to call save user function when we click on the but this, this save button okay now let's type here that we want to add new user to users array so let's create a, let's add new element to the users array by this way so let's type here name equals username email equals user email phone equals user phone and website equals to user website yeah also don't forget that we are going to remove all stuff from this and we are going to create a separate component for this form and also for this user card okay and now let's update uh users users array so we're typing here users equals users and now let's test this form so let me close console and now let's type some email test example test form you know we can type some random form and site test.com let's type, click on create a user and as you can see user is created but we need also to clear clear all these fields so let's add here some code so we're gonna type here user dot name equals nothing user dot email equals also nothing and user phone also equals nothing and user website also equals nothing now let's save it now let's go to the website oh i mean to our local server of the app and let's try to create a new user again so test example let's type here some random phone then let's type website and i click create a user and as you can see user is created and new all fields are cleared so now it's time to create a, a separate components for this form and also for the user card so first let's create a, a user card component so it will be named user.svelte now we can grab all this code and pass it here and we can create a new script and everything that we need here this is user code okay and let's import also this component here and let's go to this each block and we can type user we kill user but also we need to check if we have some users so let's create a here if block so if users length more than zero we are going to use this each block and also create a here else condition uh, where we're gonna type loading data okay let's format also let's format also this each block and now let's save it okay and if i open browser and refresh everything is fine okay now the final step is to create a, a user's form component so let's create a here new component named at user that's valid and we can grab all of this code paste here what i did okay so let's save it and now we need to copy this function save user no we don't need to we didn't we need to copy this uh, variable and we need to create a here script section and we're going to use dispatcher also but for let's create a new function named uh, dispatch save user okay dispatch save user and we're gonna call this function here okay and we also need to import create a event dispatcher yeah so create a event dispatcher from svelte and we create a here new dispatcher dispatcher and we need to call this create a event dispatcher i mean call this like a function okay now let's go let's go to the dispatch save user and we're going to um yeah so we're going to call new event named save user dispatched okay and we're gonna pass here some data so it will be user vql user let's save it and now we can go to the app that's felt and yeah we also need to import add user components so we type here add user let's go here add user on save user dispatch it we are going to call save user function and here we, we are going to have only one variable named event and we're going to type here event detail 
event detail, username, event detail, user email, user form, and user website. So now let's save it. And as you can see, we can also grab this code and paste it in this this page save user let's save it and i think that's all that we need okay now let's open browser again now let's ref we can refresh and let's try to create a new user so test example test let's type here some font some website and if i click create a user a new user is created and and yeah i i also need to reverse all data so i'm going to type here users reverse because I want to show newest users in the top of the grid. Okay, and now let's try to create uh, again some new users. So, for example, best types data like this. And as you can see, new users created. Now let's try to create uh, another user. For example, joindo.com, name joindo, and some random number and website joindo.com create a user and as you can see user is created but uh, user we need to sort array in correct array but as you can see everything works and that means that we did everything correct so that's all for this lesson for this video so thanks for watching and we, go, we are going to meet in the next videos where we're gonna talk more about health and how we can create a simple and nice apps with this great cool framework